I'm one of the educators at the Children's Museum of New Hampshire, and today we're going to do an experiment with some coins. We're going to see if we can clean some pennies using some household materials. Um, so today I have a selection of coins. We have pennies, we have some euros, and then we have a dime and a quarter. Um, if you want to talk to kids more about counting and math, you could talk about how much each of these coins is worth. You could have them add them up. You could do something that way if you'd like. Uh, but we're going to be talking a little bit about chemistry. Uh, we're going to see if we can get these copper pennies clean using some vinegar and lemon juice. And you can ask kids, what, what do these two things have in common? What's similar about vinegar or lemon juice? Do you want to drink either one of these? Probably not, right? Because they are both very acidic. Um, and that's what they have in common. And if you want to, you can even get out some more materials for this experiment. You could get out water, soap, maybe something you know isn't going to work to clean anything, like dirt or mud. Um, <laughs> you can make it more of an experiment. But we're gonna take our pennies and put them in this bowl. It has salt and vinegar in it and a little bit of lemon juice in it. And I'm just gonna mix it around a little bit and then take it back out. And you can see, it's fun to get out Q-tips too and maybe shine them up a little bit. You can see how much cleaner that penny looks after we put it in. Here, we'll do another one just so we can see. Maybe put a few in. Almost instantly, some of these are changing and looking much brighter and more shiny. So believe it or not, even though this test involves cleaning, kids get really excited about it because it's almost like magic. It changes right before your eyes. But it isn't magic. It is the acid, like we said, in the vinegar and the lemon juice is breaking down all of the uh, materials that have built up on the pennies. And this works because they're copper. So do we think it's going to do anything to our quarter? Let's find out. We'll put it in here. Now salt and vinegar are good at cleaning things anyway. Um, so it may allow us to get some surface dirt off a little bit from our quarter, but you're not gonna see it looking shiny and bright and new looking like we do with a penny. And this one's from 1972, so we know that had some dirt on it. <laughs> That's pretty old. Um, so this is a really fun experiment that you can do with things you already have at home. Um, another part of the experiment you could add is you wanna probably rinse these off right away after you do this experiment with water, because otherwise these will change again. If you don't rinse them off with water, they're going to change to sort of a greenish color. And that's because um, it's going to oxidize when the vinegar and lemon juice kind of mix with the air. And that's what happened to the Statue of Liberty. So you can talk a little bit about that if you'd like to as well. Um, but this is a fun experiment. It's pretty quick and easy and it may inspire some household cleaning. <laughs> so we can never complain about that. Um, so I hope you enjoy it and hopefully we'll see you back at the museum soon.